At UMass Amherst, we are developing skills required for the RMP to serve as a mobility platform for dexterous mobile manipulation. Previously, we demonstrated high-speed outdoor mobility in dynamic environments, including robust tracking of moving targets. The cascaded filter approach, developed as part of this effort, can be used to resolve conflicting motion objectives that may arise when multiple tasks, such as tracking and obstacle avoidance, are combined. When the agility of the RMP is combined with dexterous manipulation capabilities, active compensation of dynamic stabilization is required. In addition, gross and fine motion strategies have to be integrated. To address these challenges, we propose a three-phase object acquisition approach integrating map-based navigation with visual servoing and force feedback. To move the RMP into proximity of the manipulated object, we have integrated our global dynamic window approach with Carmen's localization capabilities, achieving fast, reactive, and globally accurate motion. Here, the RMP successfully navigates into the marked goal region. To simulate the dynamic stabilization of an RMP, we are using our fixed base torso to manipulate a dynamically stabilizing object. The manipulated object has been mounted on a self-stabilizing U-Bot. The vision system tracks the approach of the U-Bot as indicated by the red line. Visual servoing in conjunction with force control is employed to establish a fixed reference grasp. Using this grasp, the motion of the manipulated object can be measured with very high precision. The measured motion serves as a feed-forward component to our manipulation controller used to screw in the light bulb. Here you can see how large motions of the manipulated object are tracked by the grasping hand. Finally, the light bulb is screwed in until a reliable contact is established. At that point, the reference grasp is released. Future work will be concerned with the development of additional manipulation skills for an RMP-based mobile manipulator.